What's up, it's Chris Herio. Welcome to another vlog. This is gonna be a very special vlog because I'm gonna be showing you how I incorporate my technique into my training, what time I work out, what time I eat, how I create my workout programs for the Herio Pro app. What I do is document the actual workouts I'm doing every single day for a period of time and then create an intermediate version and a beginner version. Just make sure you download the Herio Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store, open up to Chris Herio's workout programs and you'll find this week's routines created into a full workout program right there. So it's a brand new week. We're starting off on Monday and for the first day of the week, Week, I'm gonna be training legs. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today. Now before we get into this routine, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself, show you where I'm starting off at. All right, we're starting off at 173. We're ready to get started. I normally like to warm up with some full body or some abdominal workout circuits. So I'm gonna be choosing one of the videos that I uploaded, six minute, six pack abs workout. So I might do one round or two rounds of this, then we're ready to get the leg workout started. That's actually round one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time because it's only six minutes. That's the cool thing about these warm ups. It's pretty quick. So if I do it one more time, that's gonna be a 12 minute warm up. I'm ready to get started for my workout. So I'm gonna go for a couple stretches for my legs, get my legs prepared for today's workout routine, and then we're ready to get started. So I like to do some of these. Don't like to hold any position for too long. Kind of just go in and out of it so you don't lose the elasticity in your muscles. All right, I'm ready to get started for this leg workout. Now the first thing I'm gonna do for round one is gonna be barbell squats and dumbbell lunges. Just those two exercises back to back for five sets. All right, now for the first set of the barbell squats, I normally like to go for a warm up set, which is gonna be something light, 10 to 12 reps. And then the second set that I do right after that is either gonna be the same weight or a little bit heavier, but then really pushing on the reps before I significantly increase the weight. So the second set would be something around like 15 to 20 reps. All right, let's go ahead, go for the first one. raises. All right, there we have the first set of squats. Now we're going to go into dumbbell lunges. All right, there we have the first set, dumbbell lunges. Just a light set, 10 on each leg for 30 pounds. All right, now for the barbell squats, I'll either increase the weight or I'll keep it the same and really increase the reps. For today, I'm just gonna keep the same weight and go for 20 reps. So let's go ahead and get into it. Cat raises. Going back into the dumbbells. Uh, lunges and for round two of the dumbbell lunges since I kept this weight the same I'm just gonna keep this weight the same as well increase the repetitions All right, there we have it So it's pretty simple for round one just these two exercises five sets back to back But if you're still feeling like this is a bit too difficult, don't worry check out the program I have an intermediate version as well as the beginner version. The reps are gonna be a lot less. The rounds may be less as well. All right, I'm ready for the third set. Gonna add some more weight onto the barbell. And from now on, we have three more sets left. So we wanna increase the overload every single set for the dumbbell lunges, as well as the barbell squat. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, I'm gonna go for 10 reps. Some calf raises. All right, here we go with this third set. Move into the dumbbell lunges, get some heavier weights. Moving into the fourth set. 
I like getting legs done at the beginning of the week because it's a pretty big muscle. It does take time to recover. And of course you get it out at the very beginning and throughout the week, you can still touch on legs as you do other things as well. For example, on my back day, I may be doing bent over rows, which is gonna be hitting your hamstrings. And that's actually how I like to structure my workout splits and my workout programs so that you hit a muscle group really hard and then you'll maybe have a day or two to recover. And then you end up working them out indirectly again while you're working out another muscle group later on throughout the week so that you continue to stimulate your muscles and you don't wait a whole week until you use that muscle again. All right, moving on to the last set. I'll probably just do this, same weight again for more reps. All right, there we have the last set of squats. Now for the full reps and sets, go ahead and check out the workout program on the Harrier Pro app. Now I'm gonna go for the last set, dumbbell lunges, then we're gonna move into the next round. We're gonna be working with deadlifts and some combinations of other exercises. All right, we're gonna move into the next routine now. It's gonna consist of deadlifts, reverse laying leg raises, which is not only good for your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back, but also for full planche. And since we're throwing in some full planche technique, I'll also be doing some full planche lean raises. All right, we're ready for round two. Now for the deadlift, just like the squats, we're gonna go for five sets, but every single set this time, I'm gonna increase the overload. Go into those planche leans. All right, sometimes when I'm doing these full planche leans and I'm using a resistance band, I'll just put it in one leg, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Got the other leg free. Third round, right? We're gonna increase the weight on this. All right, let's go for it. All right, back on my reverse leg raises. And if you're wondering how this is good for your full planche, well, this is basically the same force that you use in your lower back, as well as your glutes and your hamstrings to lift up the rest of your lower body to remain in that full planche position. So the easier it is to be able to lift your body up from this position, the easier it's gonna to be to lift your body up when you're trying to get into a planche. <sighs> going back into the full planche raises. And as you can see, we're not trying to hold the full planche as long as we can. We're just trying to go into it, lift up and raise into it for repetitions. That's gonna get it easier to be able to go into the full planche position. That's gonna increase your strength in the full planche and it will increase your duration of how long you can hold it for a bit as well. But if you can raise into a full planche easy without kicking up, then holding a full planche is gonna be so much easier. All right, let's switch the legs. All right, we're moving into the fourth round. So again, we're gonna increase the overload. This time I'll take a wide stance again. Let's move into the reverse leg raises. Now, as you can see, I have been doing different rep ranges, especially on the squats and the deadlifts. All these different rep ranges are gonna help you towards different things, whether it be strength, building more muscle, hypertrophy, so forth. So although you can build more muscle and strength using hypertrophy, doing a lot of high repetitions, you can also build a lot of power and strength as well using very low repetitions, something like five reps. That's gonna get you a whole lot stronger. All right. We are moving on to the last set, the fifth set of the deadlifts routine. Then we have one last routine. We're gonna probably run about four more times. That's gonna be it for today's leg workout. All right, I'm on my last deadlift set. You know I was gonna increase the overload every single time, but I think I'm just gonna stick to these last three plates again for my last set. As far as the workout routine goes, it's always good to have a plan, but it's always best to listen to your body. Remember, it's not the person that works out the hardest every single day in a row that's gonna end up being the strongest. It's actually the person that works out the smartest and is able to work out consistently. That's gonna be the person that's gonna end up being on top. All right, so I've been training for almost an hour now. We're gonna go on to the last 
routine. We're gonna go for three rounds of this. It's gonna be dumbbell assisted pistol squats, squat lunges, dumbbell goblet side squats, and then we're gonna finish it off with some dumbbell calf raises. There you have it. That's the first round of the last round, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this routine three more times, just this little circuit, and then that's gonna be it for today's leg workout. So I started around 10 a.m. I'm gonna end up finishing a little bit past 11. So if you're doing this workout routine, that's how long it would normally take you. When you find this workout program and start doing it from the Harrier Pro app, but of course there's an intermediate version and the advanced version. In both of those versions, the workouts are gonna be shorter. They're gonna be maybe not as advanced in repetitions or maybe exercises. For example, in the beginner version, you're not gonna have the assisted goblet pistol squats with the dumbbells, stuff like that. It's gonna be a beginner progression, something that a beginner can do as well as the repetitions of course so it really doesn't matter what your fitness level is if you want to train like me download the Harrier Pro app get the workout programs there's gonna be a level for you if you're at a beginner level if you're at intermediate or if you want to do the actual workouts that I'm doing you're gonna be able to get that too so as I said I'm gonna do three more rounds of this little circuit and I haven't eaten anything yet today so I'm gonna go back home and show you guys what I'm eating all right we're back at my house it's about 12 o'clock and I'm getting into my first meal of the day so let me show you guys what I have I have some pan seared salmon asparagus and some brown rice mixed with quinoa Noa and some vegetables like carrots and green peppers. I have a lemon packed with vitamin C and it's also recommended to always have a big salad once a day. So I'm having that as well with some cucumbers, tomatoes and carrots inside. I'm gonna dress this salad with some balsamic vinaigrette, keep the calories low. You know, if you use those thick, creamy salad dressings, you're gonna end up putting a lot of sugar and calories into the salad, and that's not what I want. So this is basically what I have for today. The salmon, which is a great lean source of protein, as well as omega-3s, which are great for your joints. I have a good amount of carbs and vegetables, the perfect meal in my opinion. So let's go ahead, do a quick taste test. Dang, that's so good. Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and start my lunch, but thank you so much for watching. I really wanted to show you exactly when and what I work out and eat every single day for a whole week straight, but that's just not gonna fit into one vlog. So if you wanna see more vlogs just like this, behind the scenes of what I'm training and what I'm eating, then definitely leave a comment down below and let me know the next time I'll do a different muscle group, how I train for it, how I incorporate skill training, and I'll even show you inside my fridge, show you what I'm eating that day. If you guys wanna tour of inside my kitchen, see what food I have in there, leave a comment down below and I'll show you guys what I got. And remember, to get the full program from the workout I did today, Today, you need to download the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Then open up the Chris Harry's programs and you're gonna find the Hybrid Bodybuilder program. When you click into the Hybrid Bodybuilder program, you're gonna see three different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The advanced level are the workouts that I'm actually doing. So if you wanna do my actual workout routines, always hit the advanced. But if you're not at that level yet, you can still do the same routine, just an easier version of it in the intermediate or beginner. And remember, the easier versions will always have easier exercises, so you should be able to get through it, no problem. And once you've gone through the beginner version of the program, you can go ahead and do it again in the intermediate level or take it up another level and do my actual workouts which are the advanced routines so with that said thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next thursday 2 p.m usa eastern time don't forget if you comment within the first 30 minutes you always have a chance to win some free hair apparel if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button for more of my content during the week check out my instagram almost every single post i always do some type of giveaway if you want a chance to be a part of that make sure you're following me on ig and with that said i'll see you next thursday 2 p.m usa eastern time mad love peace out that like button guys